Hello everybody, it's Fat Man from The Holler. And as usual, if you like my videos, hit like and subscribe. And most of the community who follows me and subscribe to me and just the people who randomly view me who are not subscribed knows I do a little bit of purchases from Amazon because I really like to do business with them. In other categories like TMU or TMU, Banggood, Alibaba, and a lot of those other companies are good, but I preferably do with Amazon and I've never had a problem with Amazon with getting a package and I had I had a couple little incidents but they've always been good but anyway we're gonna get right in here and what today is is a trend holders 635 games and one cartridge classical 8-bit games collection as you can see here it is it comes in the plastic side of the box so we're gonna see how to how well this will work we're also going to want to show you how to navigate using this so here we go this is the nintendo that i found in the trash that came with all the hardware for hooking it up and two controllers you can see and the game that came with it instead of buying a bunch of games because i don't have a lot of money i just bought this cartridge so we're going to power the nintendo on as you can see and we will turn the tv on and we'll get started on this video so I think it's going to be a good video for anyone who's into retro gaming of sorts. Just have to figure out exactly where I'm going to set this camera angle up. So it's going to be the most proficient way of showing you how to operate this. I think I want to put it right here. So <clears throat> I'm going to take this to the very beginning. Because I've already been messing with it a little bit. Just to get an idea because unfortunately it doesn't come with instructions but it's very easy to use okay you start in the a category and if you want to go to b you push a and if you want to go back to a you push b okay how you get into the rest of it you have you see eight categories you can go up and down on with your d-pad what you'll do to get into the other games in the a category is you push right on the d-pad as you can see, it takes you to the rest of the games in here. And that's how it works. And then you hit, you can go over with A. And you can see it has Back to Future, different games of sorts. It has Barbie, Batman Returns, and Beetlejuice, Blastmaster, Boogeyman. And then you go back. Then I'll go back. Then go over one and you have Cabal, ancient little sh first person shooter game where you use the D pad to shoot. And actually, it's a pretty good game. And then it has Castlevania 1 and 2, it has Chippendale, different, it has all kinds of games. It has like on 30 right here, it's the old arcade game, Commando. And you can go over, it has Contra, Contra Force, Cool World. And it has plenty of options and it's super affordable so i would definitely recommend it i've played handfuls of games on this so far and they all seem to work perfectly i haven't played them all the way through there's an old classic game i like to play when i was a kid dick tracy and it has double let's see here it has double dragon one two three and four double dribble and i mean it has almost any kind of game Dragon Warrior, I mean, it has DuckTales 1 and 2. It has plenty of options. And it's pretty easy to use by navigating just by using the A and B and the D-pad to scroll up and down and through the list. And it has, and it has one of my favorite games, which is a Sight Bike. It's pretty fun. I always thought so. And then you continually go through here. It has more stuff. And then you go to you can go to F. And then here's an I know it's a big thing for a lot of folks who are into retro gaming. There's Final Fantasy 1, 2, and 3. And then it has Final Mission, Fire and Ice, and Flintstones 1 and 2, which wasn't a bad game. It came out a long time ago. And then it has Final Fantasy. It has Final Fantasy. So let's get to the next one. You have G.I. Joe 1 and 2. You have Galaga. Galaxy and Galaxy 5000 and then has George Boxing which I believe is George Foreman Boxing 
has Ghostbusters, has Ghostbusters one and two, old school arcade game, Ghosts and Goblins, old movie, Goonies one and two, Gotcha, but it's a little hard to use a gun for Gotcha, Hogan's Heroes, Operation Wolf, Duck Hunt, because all these newer TVs, that gun's not capable of actually picking the TV up, but I know Hyper can, and different people are manufacturing retro guns to actually, actually be used. So that makes that, we'll just have to see how that goes in the future. I might acquire one. And that'd be, and the thing is you can upgrade your blaster, but I wouldn't recommend doing it if you're not really a DIY or very hands-on knowledgeable in it. You can skip it by just going on Amazon or somewhere and buying one. And hopefully I can find one and do a great review on it. And, I mean, it seems to have ever. Dang on, it even has Hunt for Red October on it. And then it has like Akari, and that'd be on two and three, which I believe is going to be Akari Warriors. Indiana Jones has an arcade arm tank. And then we go to Jack, we go to Jay. It has Jackie Chan, James Bond, Jaws, Jetsons. It has Michael Jordan versus Larry Bird. It has an old arcade classic, Jaws. And then in Jay, we have Jackie Chan, James Bond, stuff of that nature. And there's plenty of stuff. And I mean, Legendary Wings. And there's, I mean, there's Mad Max, one of my favorite games. I even play it on PlayStation 4. And you keep going over, you'll see the old arcade versions of Mario. Mario is missing. Mario, Time Machine, Mario, and Yoshi. And then Metal Mac. And then it has Mega Man, one, two, three, four, five, and six of Mega Man. One of my classic games is a well thought out game. It's by Konami, and it's one of long ways. I don't know if they're still going to continue to make the game in modern consoles, which would be Metal Gear. And then you can just keep going through, and you can see that even has Monopoly, Mortal Kombat, and just keep on going. Mister has Mrs. Pac Man, and I believe it's just a well thought out thing. And it has NARC. It has NBA Jam 2. And then NFL. Uh, Ninja Gadian 1, 2, and 3. Ninja Kid. Some of the games I've never really heard of. Even with Emulator. Here's another one of my all time favorites. Operation Wolf. And then you have Pac-Man. Pac-Mania. Um, pinball, pretty fun game. I like pinball. Um, it has a Predator game, which wasn't too bad of a game. I remember playing that on the cartridge and the POW, it's a typical 80s arcade. And if you go down, it even has the Punisher. And then it has Cuber. There's not much Q games in that list. And then you go to R, and it's Race America, and then one of my all-time classic racing games is like Rad Racer, another good game I like to play, and they discontinued the game because some people couldn't beat it or find a key to helicopter to successfully beat Rambo, and you have Rampage where you can be, um, you can be like King Kong or Godzilla, and it's more of a retro classic arcade type game, and you have Ring King, which is a boxing game, and then Robocop. One, two, and four. Robocop versus Terminator. Now the game's also on on Super Nintendo as well. And then, I mean, it has. I mean, the options for just buying this is, is beautiful. I know, like it is, Nintendo does offer it in Switch on newer system, but not everybody's able to buy Switch. So I found a Nintendo in trash, bought the game to play on Nintendo, and I also play with emulator. Because I do like Nintendo games and all the stuff that I've bought. And I know you get into trademarks, some of the stuff Nintendo doesn't like. But not everybody has the money. And that's something the world doesn't want to acknowledge because they're trademarks. And I understand they don't want their stuff knocked off and they want more and more and more and more money. But when you buy the game in 1980 and it costs $40 and you buy the game in 2023 and it costs $70, you have a, a quite a large problem if you don't have a good job or the money to do so. And it has The Simpsons, Bartman, 
Simpsons Space, Simpsons World, Skater Die 2, Skater Die, Sky Kid, an old World War II big game I like is Arcade Classic 2, is Sky Shark. Smash TV, I like that game pretty good. It's where you go through like a maze, it's kind of like the old movie Running Man. You gotta survive a bunch of mazes, and it's like a TV show, kind of like just like the movie. And what I don't understand, it says it has Sonic the Hedgehog on here. I'll have to check that out later. And as you can see, you have plenty of options in Star Wars, Star Wars Empire, and I mean. The Super Contra, Super Contra 8, and I mean, it's, it, it's crazy. Super Mario, Super Mario 2, 3, Super Mario 6, Super Mario 14, whatever it is. Super Pitfall at the very bottom right here, as you can see, which is an old Atari classic. It's been remade quite a bit. And sorry for my voice sounding a little hoarse. Um, the weather's kind of cold and I've been having a little sinuses, but I really wanted to get this video created so I can show some people that this product actually works. Because when I actually buy stuff on Amazon, sometimes I'm reluctant to buy it. Because some of the other consoles, you buy, it'll have a 200 games or more. And the problem is I've seen it will be initially like the same game five or ten times. And it'll be in English and Japanese or even Chinese. And it's kind of, or even Swedish. And it's kind of hard to read if you're not bilingual, knowing how to speak those languages. Here's another funny old time one. You have Tailspin right here. Great. One of my fun games. You can skateboard or surf. TNC Surfing. TNC 2. And then if those are like Techno Bowl. Techno Bowl Football. Techno Bowl World Cup. And then it has the old school game Tekken 3. Terminator 1 and 2. And then it has Tetris 1 and 2. And it has so many options. You can just go through this thing for days. And you'll be able to find whatever you're looking for. And then 31 is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle 1. And then 2, 3, 4, and Tom and Jerry, Toxic Crusaders. I mean, it's unbelievable. It has everything. And then U, not very large list on that. And then V, not very large list. Volleyball is not bad. Kind of like that. And then Wild Gunman and Wolverine and... Plenty of options, WrestleMania, and then we'll continue down the line, Young Indiana Jones, Yoshi's Cookie, and then there's an iconic game, Zelda 1, Zelda 2, and Zen, and I actually know how to make these things, I just don't have the assets to create some of this stuff, because I know if you have like a little breadboard or microprocessor, you put this inside of here. And then you can solder your wire, and you can actually, the buttons and everything, you can 3D print this with a 3D printer for making this. And the game cartridges, you can 3D print them, and you can use r Raspberry Pi, which a lot of people do. And Ariando, and that's a whole other thing. But actually, I'm going to go through this list one more time to see if I missed one game that I was thinking about that I like to play a lot. And I'm not really seeing it, and it would be in the B category. Actually, take it back, it would be in the A category. And there it is. In this game, a lot of folks talk about some of the hardest Nintendo games that you could ever play. I promise you, this game right here was like iconically hard being a young kid playing this. And this is By You Billy. And I'm telling you right now, this game was hard as heck. Maybe some other people who played this never had the difficulties of me. I'll turn this up. A little bit where it's more able to hear it instead of me talking but they kidnap his girlfriend it's kind of like the icon of like all vision video games and stuff and i'm using the crappy tv so you're seeing some of the screens not there but you hit a and b jump kick you push right on the d-pad a and b jump kick you got punch and kick and you're a guy living in a swamp and you got to fight a bunch of Hood wants to get his girlfriend back. And then if you do the other stuff, you can actually initially get like components for helping you play the game. I always use jump kick so I can actually give me some distance when I'm fighting these guys. The game's pretty crazy hard for being if you're young. Imagine being 10 years old playing this. 
or even Zelda, some of them games of nature. I mean, how I actually got to the point where I could actually play some of these games and be successfully to actually beat them is that there's an old magazine out there. I used to have hundreds of them. I had a little playhouse as an old school bus, and it, it ended up sold, but it had all my all kinds of, like almost all my toys. A long story short, what I used to play a lot of these NES games back in the day was called Nintendo Power. And if you look up Nintendo Power, if you're a nostalgia Nintendo person, you can find that stuff on eBay. And I mean, it's kind of costly, but one of the best ones I had was the Master Book of the Year. And it had like every single game kind of just like this. But you can see the functionality of the old controller. It works smooth. I mean, this old controller I found find in the trash the system and everything it works pretty works pretty well as you can see it works really well so we'll hit reset let's see if we can find see what other game we can find um i'm i mean for me i'm not really picky there's just certain games i like more than others and i play like castlevania I actually bought it for like two i think it's like 4.99 on PS4, Castlevania, the first one, on NES, and I play that time to time. And then there, the Double Dragon is actually one of my good, one I like a lot. Um, GI Joe, I mean, it just, it's just crazy. This actually is, this is way put together better than I thought. It's just I have a TV that I also found in a trash can. It's not very good TV since it's smaller tv but it does work for doing this so i mean it's pretty good in the future i might do something a little different maybe a try to acquire tv or something because i like to create good content where you can actually see what's going on but as you can see this actually works very well and let's continue through the list um i'll get to the icon one of my icon games i love to play it's like the epitome of retro gaming. And let's see here. That's okay. Where did that go? Okay, there we go. This is one of my favorite games to play. And this game, it really angers me because if you play this game on like an emulator, and I played it in Swedish emulators, American emulators, etc., this game doesn't initially work on emulators that i've seen maybe people out there who make emulators will follow this video this far to understand what i'm talking about but when you play this game once you get up to around the five to seven cards you have to have a rocket launcher to defeat the honor brothers on nes metal gear and if you cannot do that you can always go online or have a magazine if, or book if you have an old nintendo power or what have you and you can put the code in because if you go to if you go to get down to continue, you can put a code in to skip parts of it, and that's how we saved the game when we played it when we was kids. You hit start. Here's what happens when you're going in. You parachute in. This is to begin the Metal Gear, which is a Konami game that went quite a long ways and from its roots. But here it is. Let me adjust this a little bit more, where it can be seen a little bit better. So I'm going to have to use my digital camera, or my 4K camera to get this precise. But you can see, Metal Gear, you navigate through the game, and gameplay, he's, what he's saying right there, you can't see it because the TV's not very good, but he's going on break, smoking a cigarette, you can punch him, subdue him, and then the next thing is you have these attack dogs and you maneuver around the them, and you get down the line. And then you just keep continuing. But anyway, I'm going to wrap this video up. And that's all. And hopefully everybody who sees this, if you're interested, I'll provide the link. It's going to be in my Amazon affiliate. So it's a legit website. It's not a clone or nothing like that. So you know what you're getting. And I hope everybody has great holidays. And that is all.